Dear colleagues, a very good afternoon and welcome to the first workshop on the implementations of the Asia-Pacific Road Safety Observatory. On behalf of the Asian Development Bank, I would like to thank everyone for attending this workshop. Road safety is a growing public health concern, not only in Asia and the Pacific, but globally. According to ADB estimates, on average, more than 2,000 people lose their lives on road crashes in the region every day, and many more sustain serious life-changing injuries. This means that more than 1% dies every minute, and as I speak, for 10 minutes, 14 people will have lost their lives on the roads of Asia and the Pacific. While governments have the primary responsibility to ensure road safety, the magnitude of this crisis requires all segments of society to engage and to contribute, including the private sector. This is where a good partnership between governments and development organizations can help find ways to drastically reduce the number of fatal and serious injuries from road crashes in the coming years. I'm happy to share with everyone that early this year, on the eve of the Global Ministerial Conference on Road Safety in Stockholm, I announced the establishment of the Asia-Pacific Road Safety Observatory, or APRSO. The APRSO is a concerted effort by a group of international development organizations, which include ADB, the World Bank Group, International Automobile Federations, or FIA, the International Transport Forum, and the UNSCAP, with support from the Global Road Safety Facility. The Observatory is envisioned to be the leading regional forum on road safety data, policies, and practices across Asia and the Pacific. It will help improve the quality of road safety data, support the monitoring of regional and global road safety targets, provide for the scaling up of effective policies and evidence-based road safety interventions across the regions, and promote the use of best practices. ADB, in its role as Secretariat and host, will continue to work with governments, development partners, and other stakeholders to support the implementations of APRSO. Toward our common goal of improving road safety in Asia and the Pacific, ADB commits to the following. Promote a safe system approach to addressing road safety, which holistically looks at not only the physical infrastructure, but also road use and other factors in a comprehensive and integrated manner. Embed road safety in all road project assistance, Strengthen ADB's own expertise and the government's capacity to address road safety and on the subject. Develop procedures, guidelines, and tools, and make this operational. Support sub-regional road safety initiative, including the implementations and development of road safety strategies under ADB-supported sub-regional cooperation programs. By this, we mean, for example, the implementations of the existing CAREC road safety strategy and the formulations of a new road safety strategy for the SASEC program. In addition, we will continue to work closely with other multilateral development banks, donors, UN agencies, and governments in particular to support the implementations of the Stockholm declarations and other global sustainable development and road safety agendas. In closing, let us remember that road safety is a collective responsibility of all segments of the society. Let us all work together to reduce road crashes to the barest minimum and to support the successful implementations of the APRSO. Thank you.